What's up guys, I'm Steven from TechSteveHD.com. In today's video, I'm going to tell you guys all about the Amazon Echo Spot. Now what is the Amazon Echo Spot? Well, it's like an Echo Dot, but with a camera and a screen. So sit back and relax and let me tell you all about it. In the box, you're going to get a setup guide, a list of commands, a DC power supply, and you get the unit. On top of the spot, there's four far field microphones. There's also a volume up and down and a mute button. On the front of it, you're going to find this two and a half inch screen with a resolution of 480 by 480 square. On the back of it, you're going to find your DC power input as well as a 3.5 millimeter output so you can run it out to a speaker or an audio system. On the bottom of it, you have a series of grills that allows you to have 360 degree sounds, plus it's rubberized to keep it firm to the surface that you use it on. Just plug in the power supply and wait to it to boot. Now, once it's all plugged in, you're gonna use the device and not your phone to set it up. First, choose your language. And here's a list of the languages that are available. Now you're gonna find your Wi-Fi setup, press on it, and then use the keypad on the screen to go ahead and plug in your password. Once you enter your password, go ahead and press the arrow at the bottom to go to the next screen. Wait a few minutes for it to connect to the internet. When you order most Amazon products directly from the Amazon's website, they'll go ahead and load up the username and password for you. If it's correct, go ahead and press this is me. If not, you'll need to register or log in with your Amazon account. Next, go ahead and choose your time zone and then hit the arrow. Now at this screen, you can rename it by tapping on the screen and then using the keyboard to reconfigure it. I'm going to leave it the same. Now it's going to look for the most current software since it's been sitting on the shelf. It could take up to 10 minutes depending on the speed of your internet. Updating this device. Once a spot updates, there's an intro video to kind of show you how to use it. Introducing Amazon Echo Spot a stylish compact echo with a screen that's designed to fit anywhere. Now Amazon Music does come with some services, but as soon as you get this all ready to go, they do have an offer for $3.99 so you can have a option to choose what songs you want on the Amazon Music and you get a larger selection. I'm gonna press no thanks since I use Spotify. This device is ready. With the spot all set up and ready to go, you can now pull up your Alexa app and customize it just a little bit more. To customize it, make sure you download and install the Amazon Alexa app. Next, press the icon in the corner so you can get to all the settings. Under devices, go ahead and press Echo and Alexa. And now you'll see your Echo spot is appeared on the list. Here's all the different settings that you can control. Connect a Bluetooth device. Under sounds, you have an equalizer as well as the sound of your alarm, default notifications, and more. You could put in do not disturb mode. You can also disable the drop-in feature so people in your household can't talk to you. You can update your location, your wake word, let's call it computer. You also can do follow-up mode, computer. When does the Dallas Cowboys play next? The Cowboys will play this Sunday at 1.25 p.m. at home against the Eagles. And here you can also choose a background screen based on those pictures in your phone. So example, if I want to put this picture on the screen, I can just press upload. And you can see there's the picture right there on the background. And if you need to, there's a factory reset on here as well. Another thing I want to show you guys is that I was sent an email right after I set it up give me a little bit more understanding of how it works. A lot of people don't know this, but if you have the Amazon Alexa app installed on your phone, you can actually connect and communicate with the devices through the drop-in feature and some other things. Let me show you a couple of examples. First, let's do the video chat. So there's a camera located right there. It is a VGA camera, which is 640 by 480 resolution. Now, since I renamed this computer, let's give it a command. Computer, call text Steve. Did you mean text Steve? Yes. Mm -hmm. 
As you can see, the Alexa's going off. My phone's going off. Let's do the phone. It's text Steve. So there's a video right here. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tech Steve. Now I'm doing a video call right here on the spot. So it works out pretty good. And to end the call, all you need to say is computer stop. You can also say end call. The next thing I'm gonna show you is how to do a drop in. So what a drop in is, is say you have this in the kitchen and this in the bedroom and you want to announce like dinner's ready or something like that. You can then use this unit to drop in a conversation with this unit. So let's show you how. So the name of my devices for this demo is this is the echo dot and this is the echo spot. So let's do a command computer drop in echo dot. That's echo dot, right? Right. So now they're connected. So I can use this to talk back and forth. Hey, how are you today? I'm doing okay. How about you? I'm okay. How about you? So now it's like a conversation. It's kind of echoing because of this video, but to end it, just say computer stop. And then it disconnected the drop feature. Now, if you want to see what it sounds like, let's go and Bluetooth it to my phone so I can let you listen to some music real quick. From any of your smartphones, go into the Bluetooth menu and then say, computer, connect to my phone. Searching. I didn't find anything to connect. To pair something new, go to the Bluetooth settings on your mobile device and choose Echo Spot dash four R one. And there it is. Tap on it. Now connected to Steven's iPhone. There you go. Computer, set volume to five. Now let's try to give it a command. Computer, what's the weather like today? In San Diego, there's a flash flood warning in effect until Thursday, December 6th, 8.30 p.m. The current weather is 59 degrees Fahrenheit with rain. Tonight, you can expect showers with a low of 55 degrees. City is 9.52 p.m. So overall, the sound on it is clean, but it's not that loud. It kind of reminds me of the Echo Dot. So I would wonder if they're going to do a revision on this to give it the power like the Echo Dot 3 has. Hmm. We'll see you in the future. But overall, it's a pretty nice unit. Let's do a few more commands. Computer, disconnect Bluetooth. Next, I'm gonna give it a few commands and see what the screen comes up with. Computer, tell me today's news. Tech, here's what's new this evening. In NPR News. Live from NPR News in Washington, I'm Jack Spear. 
China is demanding that Canada release a Computer senior、off. exec. Computer, play today's hits. Today's hits from TuneIn. Computer, play eighties on Spotify. Shuffling seventies and eighties acoustic from Spotify. Computer, what's the price on Tide Pods? One moment. What's the price on a unlocked Note Nine? One moment. Here's what I found. Computer, what's the price on a Panasonic GH5? One moment. Here's what I found. And once it pulls up a price or something on Prime, you can just slide like this to see more options. So the Amazon Spot is pretty handy overall, but they do make a bigger model. If you're looking for something a little bit bigger, they do have the Echo Show. It comes with dual two-inch drivers with a passive bass radius. It has two 10-watt amplifiers, and it also has Dolby processing to fill your room with sound. Instead of a small screen, you're going to get a 10.1-inch, and the resolution is 1080 by 800. The video quality is 720p, and it has a 5-megapixel camera. Another feature of the Echo Show is that it has a built-in smart hub. And that's going to allow you to connect devices like your plugs, as well as your Philips Hue systems, your Nest thermo systems, your Ring, right to the device. In conclusion, on the spot, if you're looking for something that has a screen that works very well, just like your Echo Dot, I think you'll be very happy with the spot here. After playing with it for like the last hour, I really think it's something I'm going to continue to use. And if you like this kind of content, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.